sieve analysis. That's what we're going to do in this video. Um, so we're given this information that you see in front of you, and we're asked to classify the nature of the aggregate that we have. So the first step would be to extend that table. And the first column that we're going to add, that's the percentage retained. So to calculate that, the first one obviously is going to be zero. But what you need to do first is you need to add up these individual um, masses that you see that are retained at each of these sieve that we have. So including the pan, of course. Let's do that. So that's 0 plus 30 plus 120 plus 150 plus 200 plus 320 plus 150 plus 30 and that should give you 1000. So notice that in this step we did include the pan. Okay, so going back to our column percentage retained to calculate, let's do an example for the 4.75 uh, sieve size. The way you do it is 30 divided by 1000. So that's 1000 from here. That's the summation multiplied by 100 to get percentage because remember this is in percentage and that should give you 3. So that's 3%. If we do the same um, for the 120, so it's 120 divided by 1000 multiplied by 100. That's 12, 150 divided by 1,000, multiplied by 100, that's 15. And then you just do the same for each row that you see in front of you. So that's 20%, that's 32%, that's 15%. And we stop at 15%, so we don't include the PAM um, in this calculation. So that's the first column. We have to add another column, and the column that we want to add now it's the cumulative. Retained. And that's in percent as well. So what we're doing over here is that we're just adding the elements in the previous column, so zero, and then to get the second row, it's zero plus three is equal to three percent, and then for that entry, it's 0 plus 3 plus 12, that's 15. So what I'm just basically doing is I'm adding each of these individual elements as I move down the, the row, because it's cumulative, remember? Um, so for that, it's 0 plus 3 plus 12 plus 15, that's equal to 30. And you just keep doing that for each row. So 50, you should get 50 over here, 82, 97. And that's where we're going to stop. So the summation, and you need that as the final step in this column, you need to add everything together. So it's 3 plus 15 plus 30 plus 50 plus 82 plus 97. And the answer that you should get is 27. Seven, and that's a very important number. So I'm just going to put a square around that figure. Now there's this final column that we're going to do now, and it's just to double check our working. So um, that's the Q motive passing. Again, it's percentage. And to calculate that column, what we do is 100 minus the value that we have in this column, so 100 minus 0, that's 100. If 0% is retained, then it means that 100% is passing. So it makes sense. Again, 100 minus 3, 97. So if 3% is passing, sorry, if 3% is retained, then 97% is passing. The 97% of your aggregates pass through the sieve. Um, of size 4.75 and you just keep on doing the same process for the remaining entries so it's 85 um, this one's 70 50 18 3 okay 
but we're not done yet because we need to calculate the finest modulus and to calculate the finest modulus remember that's equal to the value that we had highlighted so that's the this value over here 277 and we need to divide that by 100 and we get 2.7 so to classify this aggregate remember that in the standards they usually give you uh, a threshold so for fine for fine aggregates that's usually it's between 2 to 3.5 so 2.7 I 2.7 sorry not 2.5 but 2.7 lies somewhere between that threshold and therefore you'd classify it as a fine aggregate.